hello welcome or welcome back to my channel so as you can see we are here so that I can show you what I am taking in my hospital bag I am currently 35 weeks pregnant yes 35 weeks you heard that correct um, and it's just time to go ahead and get this done before I decide to go into birth and never film this video so this is my hospital bag I did end up getting a new hospital bag this is actually not my first choice bag um, I bought a different bag which I absolutely love which I, I love so oh actually I'm gonna show you I love this so much that I didn't even return it um, I'm just gonna keep it I, I don't know where I'm going when I'm going anywhere but um, I've got a bag let me show you okay so this is actually the bag that I picked out and I absolutely love this bag it's a decent size um, I love the mama on it it has a pocket in the back you can zip it and um, add it to your like luggage but more than anything it's like a good overnight bag and I thought this was gonna be sufficient enough there's so much space in here if you're gonna be a, a minimalist this bag would be perfect I thought I was gonna be fine with it but because I'm bringing extras of things it just it was too small so I ended up having to get this bag so this is the bag that I originally bought um, they're both from Amazon I'll link them down below but I bought this one originally and when I got it I was like oh this is way too big the price of this bag is ridiculous I don't know why I didn't add it to my baby registry so that way I can use the completion discount I wasn't thinking um, but yeah I ended up returning this bag and then I got that bag and I was so happy and I had that one packed and I'm like I need a bigger bag I should have kept the other bag so I ended up reordering this bag um, it was like a little bit less but this bag is way overpriced I don't think it's worth the price it's nice this bag is huge okay it is huge but my con is the zipper like the way that it opens maybe if they didn't have this structure here to have the open wide open it would be better but because they have it there it makes zipping and unzipping the bag like ridiculous but it is huge it's cute it's not beige <laughs> so it's not gonna get dirty like off of the first freaking use so it is what it is but um, enough about the bag let me show you what's in it there's a pocket a zip pocket in the back um, which also opens and you can put this on top of your luggage um, I just have my wallet Oh, and I have my inhaler in here. I don't I don't know why I have my inhaler in there, but it's in there in case I need it. And I just keep singles, my ID, a lot of singles in here. Um excuse me, my ID, uh my insurance card and then once it's time for me to head to the hospital, I'll throw my ID in here. I don't like bringing my whole actual wallet with me. So, there's that. So it also has strap here which I it's like put on there weirdly I don't know um, but it also has the carrying thing here I'm not gonna have to carry this so I really don't care oh there they are so this is how it opens um, I'm gonna show you that like I'll show you guys a close-up how it looks but this is how it opens very huge um, the first thing I have in here are my nails that I'm going to put on. The first thing I have is a blanket. Um, I did buy a new one. I usually have like a zebra one if you've watched my other hospital bag videos, but I did go ahead and buy a new one. Um, it was time. This is very soft. Also from Amazon. And then for the first time ever, I think I'm going to be bringing this only reason why I think I'm gonna go ahead and bring this is because 
I think babe is gonna have to be going back and forth so during delivery he'll be there with me and all that once we know everything is good to go um, he's gonna have to come back to the house you know just check up on the kids put them to bed feed them you know things like that and I don't want to have to call the nurses to give me water I know they give you your own water bottle but after I give birth and even now while I'm pregnant I love ice cold water this thing will keep your ice in there for like 24 hours without melting so I figured if I have this big ass thing there he can fill it up and hopefully I won't need it to be filled up again until like he comes back next thing should I do the stuff for me first yeah I'll do the stuff that I'm bringing for myself first so I'm also gonna have my laptop and charger also another first for me I'm gonna bring my extra battery and charger for my camera. Camera will also be in here. I always bring a folder. This is just a regular folder for all the paperwork that they give me. Keep it in there nice and organized. And then I have, so far what I have for snacks, always bring a bag of snacks. I just got Listen, you pack what you want to pack. I definitely recommend you bring a bag of snacks. You don't know when you're going to go into birth, um, into, you don't know when you're going to give birth. Um, I personally don't want to be worrying about, oh, is it healthy? Is it this? Is it that? Like, no, I don't care. Just give me some snacks. Um, so I have some Pop-Tarts for me, Pop-Tarts for babe, some graham crackers, and some club crackers in here. And then I'm also going to throw in some I don't know, some sort of protein bars in here. I have socks. So these are like slipper socks. Um, I think th these are from Walmart. Yeah, it came with these. And then it also came with these fuzzy socks. So, um, and everything is like mainly gender neutral. And then I also have a pair of regular socks for going home if I should need socks. I don't know then we have pajamas and I just I think I just have these two sets so I have this short set this is from Amazon I believe so they're just brown shorts with the button-up top I have this long sleeve dress which is also from Amazon anything from Amazon I'll link down below because I believe I can um, but this is the other pajama it's just a dress in this nice little khaki color and it's long sleeve so if I'm cold after I give birth and then I have some adult diapers I have three I'm probably gonna uh, throw in one more just in case um, and then I also have some panties just three of these just to hold everything in place and they're the boy shorts which are so comfortable I got these from Walmart um, let me see the brand I got two packs, they're Hanes. I got two packs of these, and these are the most comfortable underwear I have worn in I don't know how long. So, got three of those. Then I have, I'll go over that in a second. I have here, oh, um, this is another nightgown. Um, it's just a strapless, I mean, a uh, a nightgown. I don't know. Freaking nightgown. <laughs> Baby stuff. And then I'm also bringing a robe. I finally got a new one. This is from Shein. 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 However you say it. It's just a black robe. And it says mama on it. I think it's so cute. Also bringing my own towel. And then I have maternity bras oh wait yes so these are maternity sports bras that I'll be bringing I have two of those 
And then this is like another maternity bralette type of thing. This is from Shein, these sports bras. Again, very comfortable. These are from Amazon. Um, this is from Shein. Shein. Um, and then I also have like uh, the Faja. But this is just the shorts one because I just want it to be a little bit more comfortable. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit into it. I don't know if I'm going to wear it while I'm there. But I'm bringing it just in case. So I'm bringing two going home outfits. One is shorts. I'm in Florida. It's usually hot. January is usually the coldest month. Um, but you never know. So it's just this shorts outfit. So the shorts here. And then it comes with this short sleeve uh, pullover hoodie shirt thing. And then the other one that I have is just this jogger outfit. So it comes with this zip up jacket and then it comes with pants. So that's what I'm bringing. That's my bringing my going home. One of those are my going home outfits. And now, um, for the rest of my stuff, <laughs> this bag comes with this bag. Look how nice this is, guys. It has one, two, three, four compartments, okay? And a hanger. It's so cute. I love this bag. Um, but in the top one... I just have a shower cap and a washcloth. Next one is pretty much basically all my toiletries. I have two toothbrushes, so I just brought, you know, my extra one just because I feel like it gives a better clean. Great, now it smells like my bar of soap. <laughs> I have my toothbrush. I've got a whole bar of soap in here. I've got toothpaste. Um, this is just like a facial scrubber thing that I just throw in here. The extra toothbrush for Babe just in case he needs it. Um, I have a little thing of gel. I've got my face moisturizer, regular uh, lotion, deodorant. I've got some face wash. Don't know why these are these were in my other toiletries bag so that's probably why it's in here but just two panty liners <laughs> you know you gotta need more than freaking panty liners i've got shampoo and conditioner just in case i didn't pay for any of this stuff i just had it already so it was just transfer from one bag to another so yeah shampoo and conditioner don't plan on washing my hair but you know who knows and then i also threw my um earth mama organic nibble butter. I use this with the twins. I think I discovered it with Aaliyah. This is great. This 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 stuff is, is wonderful. So yeah, that's everything that's in there. And then the third one has like makeup and stuff, which I'm not bringing a whole lot. I think this is the best that I've ever done with makeup, but I have a comb and a brush in here, just in case. I have um, my lip, this is a lip exfoliator. I bought that with the others too. I've got makeup remover wipes. I have facial toner. I don't use this one anymore, so I threw it in my toiletry bag. That's why it's halfway there witch hazel, rose petal witch hazel, it's completely fine. Um, so for makeup, I am bringing um, this Milani palette, which has highlighter, bronzer, eyeshadows, blush, it's got everything inside of there. I'm also bringing this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, the travel size. Again, I had all this stuff already, so I just threw it in there. And then I'm also bringing this ColourPop uh, concealer. And then I also have this Cover FX concealer because this one looks a little bit light. I don't feel like trying it on or anything. Um, this is just the Makeup Forever HD 
uh, matte velvet skin powder that, um, I don't even know why this is in there actually, now that I think about it. Um, yeah, I don't really need this. <laughs> I don't know why that's in there. Uh, anyway, I've got a blush brush, um, makeup sponge, Real Technique sponge. I've got a powder puff, another brush, like dual sided. Um, this other brush in case I want to do bronzer, eyebrow pencil, waterproof mascara, eyeliner, and my eyelash curler. That's it. I want to do my eyelashes. I want to put uh, like the extensions on myself so that I don't have to worry about that. So if I do have them on, I'll take that stuff out because I, I won't need it, <laughs> you know? Feel like if you have your lashes done then you kind of already look put together already and that's why I want to put lashes but they don't last for me so I don't know I'm still trying to figure that one out <sighs> but yeah that's everything that I'm bringing for makeup the last compartment here just has miscellaneous things I have my charger phone charger with the 10 foot charging cable that's from Amazon I needed a new one anyway I've got facial tissues in here um, I got a sample of breast pads right breast pads yeah it's just a sample so I just threw them in here um, I've got some hair scrunchies I'm gonna throw a cloth clip in there I've got a pack of gum. Make sure you bring some gum. If you chew gum, you're gonna wanna chew gum. <laughs> uh, I've got an extra pair of earrings in case I don't have earrings. You guys know I don't like being without earrings. Uh, some nail glue, nail file. I've got a pen in here. I've got chapstick. I also have um, baby, uh, what are these? Nail clippers? Did I say chapstick? I have chapstick. And I also have some hand sanitizer. Um, and then there's a baby nail file in here as well. Camera cut off. Um, not sure where I ended, but that was everything in this bag, hopefully. It got everything. Um, so yeah. And that's pretty much everything for myself now getting into the baby stuff um this is from amazon this is just a little sign it says isn't he well it says isn't she lovely on one side and isn't he wonderful on the other side i'm having a surprise gender i don't know if it's a girl or a boy so there's that i got this car seat cover from Amazon it's the Itsy Ritsy brand it just looks like this and that's just to cover the baby up if we have to walk through the hospital um, just cuz I don't like I don't like my babies like out and about like all without anything so the last bag that this bag came with is this little one and I put everything for the baby inside this bag so and again it's like one of those wide open bags um yeah but the first thing that i have in here and i overpacked for the baby i'm aware i'm aware it's just one i didn't need all this but you know what i'm trying to take all the pictures i said this last time and i didn't take all the pictures but that was different because that that was a very a very traumatic birth so i just have a plain onesie in here in the newborn size then I have this outfit from H&M it's just this taupe color it's supposed to be in preemie but I think this is huge for a preemie I don't like I don't know what type of preemie they're talking about but um yeah <laughs> it's just the pants and then it has a little 
shirt that opens up this way which is great for skin to skin which is one of the reasons why I bought it but also I thought it was going to be smaller so I don't know I don't know this came in a three pack from H&M by the way um then I have the going home outfit which is definitely the going home outfit and that's just this Nike onesie it's also in the newborn size yes and some of this stuff is like for announcement pictures you know just just pictures okay because I want to take all the pictures <laughs> then I have this nightgown well baby gown it's supposed to be beige but this looks more like peach to me I don't know what what it's coming up on camera um, it has the flaps to cover the hands you tie it at the bottom and it comes with this bow and it also comes with this hat so if it's a boy I'll be putting this on him with the hat and if it's a girl she'll wear the gown with the bow then I have this again newborn onesie and it's long sleeve it's just got sun and stars and moon and clouds on it super cute and then another outfit I have also in the newborn size um, it's just these pants has little sheep on the feet it came with this hat and then I also uh, bought bows so this bow matches the outfit so if it's a girl she's got a bow and then it's a long sleeve onesie once again opens on the side um, which is great for skin to skin and this also has the uh, cuffs so you can hide the hands I also have a pair of mittens in here and then we have a swaddle which came with this bow for a girl this hat for a boy and this little swaddle blanket which I thought it was going to be bigger but I mean it should be fine hopefully <laughs> And then I have another swaddle and again it came with the hat these are all from Amazon I believe it comes with the hat it has the bow and it's like a pastel they call it pastel brown um, and it comes with this muslin blanket and has rainbows on it and I just love the color of this again gender neutral and technically this is our rainbow baby that we didn't plan for so I just think this is perfect for announcement pictures and that set came with the little plaque um, that says hello world it has the name date and time weight and length of the baby it just looks like that and then the swaddle also came with a hello world sign I don't think we're gonna use both of them because like you don't need them but I just threw them both in here I also have some CeraVe moisturizing lotion, um, some Aquaphor, baby Aquaphor, just thrown in here. Also CeraVe uh, wash and shampoo. I've got a pair of socks for the baby. And then I have three more bows that match like the outfits that I have that are gender neutral if it ends up being a girl. And that's everything. So it's like a week or two I don't even know later but I ended up ordering a another swaddle okay so this is how big this is I will link it but it's huge and I love it it's soft and stretchy so. and then a lot of people told me to bring a sound machine so we did end up getting this hatch rest go also I got these in from my registry so I think I'm going to go ahead and take them to the hospital and I'll just put them in here just so that it doesn't you know I can put this thing to use <laughs> it's small so 
it's fine to go in there. This is how the sound machine looks. Again, it's called the Hatch Go. I don't know how to work it, what it does, or anything like this, but I'm going to throw this in the diaper bag as well and see how this works. I think I did pretty well, but do you guys see how the, all of this stuff wasn't fitting in the other bag? Anyway, enough blabbing. Here's my mess that I now have to clean up so that I can actually get in the bed and go to bed. But, you know, that's fine. <laughs> But if you have any questions, if you think I missed anything, if you like, just give me your thoughts down below. Um, and yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. I won't be giving birth anytime soon before I get this video up. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!